What's going on guys? Kevin here to bring you a brand new video today. For today, we're going to be going over day 13 of Horror October. Yes, day 13. For today's film, the film that we have decided to watch last night is The Autopsy of Jane Doe. Now, this one's interesting because it's actually a really good movie that I really enjoyed. Um, to me, the title is a little off-putting because it's an autopsy. Like, like why is an autopsy scary? Like, the, the people are already dead. You're just doing an autopsy on the body. How can that be, like, scary? But it is scary. It's, uh, it's scary in a way that, like, the plot developments in the movie kind of catch you off guard. And I didn't really see it, see it coming. Maybe some people did. The way this movie, like, evolves over time was pretty surprising to me in, like, a good way. And I was really pleased with what they did. You could say I feel like it's a little bit of a stretch that you have to, like, take in order to, like, buy into what this movie is telling you as far as, like, how everything works. Other than that, like, the story we see throughout is pretty damn good. So basically, the autopsy of Jane Doe is about uh, this group of two people, father and son, who both do, like, autopsy work um, on, like, bodies. And they get this one body that's that they have to do an autopsy on. So, like, okay, what could be so wrong with that? But the body is different than usual and they soon discover some crazy weird secrets behind it it looks like a normal body from the outside and it's just a girl who's like nude and appears not to have like anything wrong with her on the outside at all but they soon find out like all the different things that were going on and they have to like piece everything together and kind of like do their own like investigation as to what exactly is this girl's deal and the movie just really surprises you with um with where it takes this whole thing because for a while like weird shit was like happening in this movie um where like because her body was there um, the lights were like flickering, the doors to the body chambers were opening, like different things were happening and I almost thought it was like some ghost shit, like her ghost was like haunting them and I thought that was going to be kind of like, eh, it's a ghost, like okay, whatever, but it's not a ghost, it's, it's this girl is a witch and she has the power to um, essentially control the outside forces around her. And even though she's technically dead, she's still um, alive in the sense that she can control her outside surroundings. So it's pretty crazy. Um, and I honestly didn't know that witches really worked that way, but apparently they do so you kind of have to just believe that but essentially she's a witch who is um you know trying to kill these people trying to torture them trying to get them to feel her pain um she's doing sorts of things to try to she's basically just trying to uh get a body uh so that she can come back to life in the end that's her ultimate end goal but she's also trying to get them to like, to, to get like a feeling of like what exactly she had gone through. But this movie is actually pretty damn intense and pretty scary at parts. Um, there's some like, there is like a couple like jump scare moments that I feel like would only get like a younger person and are a little bit like cliche. Where like one of the jump scares is like a zoom in on a face or, like, they, they zoom in the camera on, like, one part of this door window, and then a face pops up, and you're like, okay, I saw that coming. Cool. 
and then like another one is like the classic like um when it's not when it's not really something bad but the the movie makes you think it's something bad when like someone comes up behind someone and like taps their shoulder but it's just like their friend or something like that always fucking happens in horror movies and i'm a little tired of it but it's it's a very small small uh small part of the movie so it's it's whatever but i just i'm so tired of that especially i mean with this movie this movie is relatively new so i can't really excuse like cliches like that so i do gotta like call that shit out you know but yeah this movie is really fun to watch um both for like the scare factor of like what's happening to this father and this son with this witch person um fucking all this shit up and also just like the mystery that they're trying to solve behind this like body like they're trying to figure out like the secrets behind this girl and like some of like her body has like clues um inside of her like one one thing was like a cloth that said like she um that said like a a verse from the bible which talked about like basically her origin and they find like other stuff like her tongue was cut off just different things had happened to her over a course of time but she was able to withstand it still because she's a witch um and her outside body looks totally fine because she's able to withstand it um it's una unaffected um they tried to like light her on fire and the body is just like unaffected on the outside but yeah this movie is genuinely pretty intense uh to watch i i, I admit the plot the, the way the plot like progresses is a little like out of the ordinary but I still really liked it. So let's talk about the ending of this movie. Um, it doesn't end well for our characters, for the father and the son. Unfortunately, they both die, which sucks. But also, um, yes, it sucks, but I don't think it really negatively impacted the movie that much. It still felt right as far as like the way things were supposed to go because they were just kind of like stuck down there with that witch and it was going to be really hard for them to like somehow survive like all the shit she was doing um the sun so the sun does supposedly stop the witch from coming to life because the witch was draining the father's life force um, so she could event essentially get her own life force back and her eyes were like turning like this color and like the blood was going back in her body and she was almost like she was almost gonna come back to life it looked like but then the son kills the father with a knife I guess and it appeared that he had stopped her from coming to life so we thought but um at the very very end of the movie they show the witch girl in this van and they zoom in on her foot and her big toe just like wiggles just uh just a little bit like like you can't even like see how much it wiggles it wiggles like this just like just like a tiny bit and like when they were zooming in on that i'm like yep the toe's gonna move they're gonna make you think make you wonder if she's really alive yep but when you think about it like that is kind of like a cool um that is kind of like a cool part of it like them making you wonder is she already like back to life fully or is she still like in her dead state like it's kind of up to interpretation i guess so i think that was cool but yeah this movie is really good um i would definitely recommend it 
it's on Netflix, which is nice. As far as a rating for this movie goes, I'm going to give it a uh, 8.6 out of 10. Just because, just because you do have to like kind of like buy into the plot, like you kind of have to like buy into what the movie is selling you with this whole story of the witch, and also like some of the cliches are a little bit like, eh. but other than that, really solid movie. So yeah, um, that's gonna be it for my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to see the next editions of Horror October. And I'll see you guys in the next one.